Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coastal Cooking. I've got a recipe coming at you today. Uh, kind of what we're going to be cooking is a throw off from a barbecue box about a month ago where we were doing that bacon wrapped uh, venison tenderloin. I actually, uh, what did I cook? I think I cooked a um, moose steak or something. Well, today I've got a caribou backstrap, okay? Still don't have any venison, but I've got some caribou backstrap. What I did with it is I just took a basting brush and rubbed it down with some of this uh, Allegro. Uh, original marinade. This is good stuff for meat and fish, vegetables. And then, uh, having made products, sent me one of these test rubs. It's a cowboy rub. It's kind of got a little coffee to it and everything. So you see what I've got? It laid down here on some bacon. Okay, I just butt up a lot the uh, the back strap. And what I want to do is just take some cream cheese. I just sliced up some hardened cream cheese that hardened in the refrigerator, kind of. And uh, I want to put that in there. Okay right inside the slices right inside the, the tenderloin okay don't get too too much but you know get you a good little bit all right that way you'll have plenty in there all right, something like that now i've got some jalapeno peppers just got the jar of the pickle kind you know uh didn't use you don't want to use fresh ones for this for some reason these are going to give you a lot better taste I've never tried it with the fresh ones. I guess you could, but they'd be a little bit, a little bit strange. Uh, let's go ahead and just put these down there like that. Hopefully, you all can see this, what I'm doing. Real simple, y'all. Simple, simple stuff. All right. Then we're going to attempt to kind of roll this up using the bacon and everything. Just kind of close this bad boy right here. Okay. Sandwich them over. Try to hold everything in. Which you can, okay? And just take the bacon, pull it up over the back. It's kind of messy. <laughs> and we'll just start rolling here in a second, as soon as I get all the bacon tucked over, okay? And just roll it forward, okay? And again, this bacon's gonna help everything to, to keep inside here. And that's kind of the secret to this, is just roll it as tight as you can, tight as possible. Gonna pull back on it, keep the bacon tall. You may have, looks like this end roll here. What's going on with it? If you get some of the cream cheese popping out, well, that's fine. I don't have to use every bit of it. I'm just gonna roll it just like this, y'all. Roll them on up. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some toothpicks. And we'll put toothpicks down through here just to hold everything together. That's kind of the idea. I'm gonna try to seal up the end as good as you can. Because you don't want your stuff just coming all out. The ends. But man, this is how we used to do it back in the day, uh, especially with deer, you know, white tail, uh, back straps. We just do it just like this. I mean same, same method. You know, use you can use a little bit different marinades or seasonings or something if you wanted, but Basically, you use the same method and you can't get wrong. It's going to be good. I know the caribou can be a little bit gamey. So that's why I try. I wanted to use this method on the caribou instead of the moose. The moose has a really good mild flavor. Um, but the caribou can be a little gamey, uh, similar to the venison or something like that. But um, So, you know, you're using all this flavor, all this pop and everything can cover some of that up if it is. So anyway, I'm gonna do it like this. I'll set this in the refrigerator. We'll let this just cure for a few hours until we get ready to cook everything else and we'll get on the grill, y'all. All right, y'all, we'll go ahead and put this bad boy on the yoder. If y'all can see, I got some Brussels sprouts and stuff over there. But uh, this is, uh, we're gonna put this probably right in here. All right, just let it roll out just like that. I'll just stake it over there from a wash, a little set, so. You know, we got that going, we'll let all that just roll. All right, y'all, we're we'll coming here for a quick flip here. Everything's looking really, really good. Oh, man, you got bacon shrinking up around there. That's what we want to see, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and just give this a flip. You know, just like that. I want the bacon to come off, but it'll happen a little bit. Go ahead and just let that keep rolling. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, good uh, caribou off the grill here. Set over here on a plate. Oh yeah, so it can be sliced up. It's wonderful. I got some other accompaniments 
and we sauteed some uh, Brussels sprouts and a little lobster and stuff like that. I'll serve that with it as well, but y'all, I think this is going to be really, really good. Can't wait to give it a try, for sure. All right, y'all, so we're going to give it a try now. There it is right there, the bacon rolled uh, moose. No, caribou, sorry. Caribou. So what it looks like here. All right, fairly medium rare wish that we get the bacon everything kind of in one bite it's a big bite cut that in half I want y'all to give it a try and see what we think mm. that's good mm. I don't really taste anything gamey about that. Has a nice mild flavor. Well, a little bit, but it's a uh, caribou. Definitely something you want to try. She yeah, did really nicely with the with all that uh, bacon and the jalapenos and everything like that. Just imparts some really good flavor to it, y'all. I need to give that a try. I remember that was something on my barbecue box subscription gave me that idea. Thank y'all so much. Y'all please like my videos, sub my channel. God bless y'all. Y'all take it easy. And one more thing I want to show y'all this Charlie's Wild Boar Sausage. Let's give that a try. I forgot about that. Hmm. Man, that is very good. I'll say one thing. That's some really good smoke flavor and taste you know, some herbs and stuff like that, but you're not a lot of grease. A very good leaner sausage. So I suggest you try that Charlie's Wild Boar Sausage. Awesome stuff.